right. Uh, before I say anything, I would like to give a major shout out to our uh, illustrator for the incredible cover picture in the pamphlet. If you haven't yet seen the pamphlet, you can go to perustulo.org and the newest post there will uh, give you the whole thing. And Jan Jäger is the illustrator and he's done an incredible job. I could look at his picture for hours and I would become happier and happier because it's, it's so positive. So thanks Jan. Okay, I'm supposed to talk about global challenges and the Nordic welfare states, how we can be a guiding force for the world to face these challenges. I think there is a great chapter right uh, very near the beginning of our pamphlet that's uh, by Ingun Grande and Christine Encio. And I'm sorry if I botch names here. I'm not <laughs> that sure how to pronounce these ones. But, but yeah, there will be uh, about discussion about sustainable development goals and how UBI is like a magic bullet towards them. So uh, it, it will happen. Well, if I talk about some of the history of the Nordic welfare states, well, uh, I think we have <laughs> in this pamphlet there are better um, chapters about that too than I could say, but, but it's been very popular since the beginning and it has brought us uh, much uh, reverence in the global community. And even the newest presidential race in the United States had this uh, Bernie Sanders who looked up to the Nordic welfare state and thought maybe that would even work in America. And maybe it could work in all over the world. And, but that didn't happen. The Nordic welfare state is an old idea. In the 80s, uh, we got, go, went a little different path with Reaganomics and when neoliberalism uh, became a thing globally. Jan Otto Andersson chapter in this pamphlet will discuss that more, so I will cut this short too. But uh, we Nordics, we are a curious bunch. Uh, we all speak English here now because, uh, well, we take lessons from the United States and from <laughs> television. Uh, at least my generation knows how to speak English better than we would know to speak our own languages. Like, we could all speak Swedish, but, but this is how it goes. Maybe if we can show the world uh, how, to, how to go forward, people will speak Swedish all over the world. <laughs> that would be nice. Uh, me being the most guilty of not speaking Swedish because I was born in the 80s and the cartoons in the television were all American, more or less. Uh, there's one global challenge though that is not uh, uh, in the sustainable development goals, I think, is AI, artificial intelligence. Uh, Vivan Storlund and uh, Gerdur Palmadottir will uh, talk in this pamphlet about artificial intelligence, but there's one thing that I want to underline here. We see the loss of jobs as a problem. Uh, if machines do the work for us. Uh, somehow we're in this situation where it's, it's a bad thing somehow. If we get more free time, we have to come up with new jobs. And that's, that's very odd to me. I think we should celebrate loss of jobs. We should 
celebrate the fact that we get more free time. And you might see where I'm going with this. Universal basic income is a way to share these profits by machines. But I think just it should be very evident. But what is said about politics is that it lacks a bit of vision. Politicians talk about jobs a lot. That's how you get elected. Uh, if you bring jobs to people. But maybe we need a different vision. Maybe we need to think about the whole employment thing in a new way. And that's what we're trying to do here. We are trying to bring that vision. We, uh, we should be wealthier than ever now in this world, but uh, always we hear talk of austerity measures. We need to need to tighten our belts and so on. But I, I, I just think that's weird. We need these kinds of events, these types of uh, books, these types of, these types of visionaries that are written in these pamphlets. We need them to go forward, I think. And as Mikko Lagerspets says in his foreword for this, uh, universal basic income is a utopia. It's a, it's a vision and, and there is a big lack of them. Currently, at least, I think so. Well, yeah, that's, uh, I think, if I cut this short, we can actually go to the meat of the issue, the, right directly to the pamphlets. <laughs>